Okay guys, so welcome to a uh, Zodi's Rails videos. We're going to be doing a play this time. Instead of live streaming, we're just going to go straight on to it. So we're on the Isle of Wight line. Um, first off, I do hope this is working properly and uh, everything's all okily Uh Let me know if you like this sort of video um, thing. Now, uh, Train Sim World 2, I've had it for a while but I haven't really played it at all. Um, I've only really started doing uh, this map because, uh, well, the last of this class was on the uh, Isle of Wight or whatever it's called, um, uh, the 483s or something like that. Um, but anyway, the old tube stop was, that was on there um, has now been, well, I believe it is now out. Uh, they're bringing in the old uh, D stock. Uh, from London Underground that's been converted into some new trains that are, I think they're like ele they're electric trains, fully electric, battery powered or whatever, something like that, I not, haven't really looked into it. But I thought we might as well play some uh, some of this game, because, well, why not? And I might as well do something a little bit different for you guys, see how it goes down. Hopefully this uh, this is working. Um, <laughs> let's see if I've actually got the mic, yeah, I've got the microphone turned on so I don't have to restart, that's excellent. So we're just going to be doing um, the island line. Uh, if you want to see more of this sort of thing, then do of course let me know, and I will do more because it's easy. It's a little bit easier for me to uh, to uh, record this sort of stuff. But uh, yeah, so let's just get into playing the game. So I hope you guys are all doing well, of course. So there we go. Let's close the doors so that they're ready. So we got five seconds. Release the brake. And let's put it into full series. There we go. Do love the old uh, NSE livery. That's uh, that's quite cool looking. I have to admit, it's one of the better looking liveries that I've seen. So you're on a 0.5% gradient here. Now I've never actually been on the island line. I would have loved to, but I've never actually done it. Um, I would have loved to have a go in the uh, the older uh, tube stock, but uh, <laughs> that never happened, obviously, uh, especially with COVID going on. Um, yeah, a bit of a shame really, it would have been quite interesting. If you have been on them, um, let me know down below. Tell me how the experience wex went, because they, they are pretty cool bit of stock to be riding on. Um, I've not, I've never been on anything as old as this, like on the National Rail system. I don't think I have, anyway. Uh, not that I can think of, anyway, but... Um, yeah, not even uh, steam hall journeys. I've not even done, done any steam hall journeys on the, on the National Rail Network. Huh. Yeah, I forget on with that at some point during this year. But anyway, hey-ho. Um, please stay around. Uh, so what do we do? So stop at location. I always forget to look at the... Um, what's this? Uh, limits. Like the upcoming limits and the uh, signals on this. And then I tend to break a little bit too hard. Okay, so off. Breaking. So we're 8 seconds, 9 seconds. So we are a little bit late. That's not too bad. Bit harder on the braking, so I wasn't looking. <laughs> I'm not paying attention. A little bit overshot, but that's not too bad. Let's have a look. Anyone going to get on or off? Is there actually anyone on the train except for me? Oh, there's one person. Two people. Oh, what happened there? Okay, three people? One, two, oh, uh, not a big of a deal, but yeah. Map's done quite well. Well, I've never been here before, so I don't know how well it 
actually is compared to the real thing, but um, seems nice. Um, graphics, you know, a bit on the lower end of stuff compared to some train simulators on PC, but I'm playing on PS4 at the minute, so not too big of a deal. I'm, I'm just trying to think of things to say at the minute, because I know uh, I don't, oh, well, I just don't want to bore you guys. So we've got a few seconds, so let's close the doors early. There we go. Fit into full series. Do like tube stock. So unique. So unique. Stop a location at Sandown. Sandown? Sand. Mm, Sandown. Sundown. Sandown. One or the other. <laughs> Check it out into full parallel. We're going uphill. Right, so we've got a yellow. I'm going to start powering down because we do actually have a 15 mile an hour in 600 yards. No, my luck if I keep powering on, I'll break too late and I'll ruin the whole thing. Could have gone. Oh, could have gone a little bit further. I, I, I underest, I overestimate these things sometimes. See, it says 15 there, but I, on the top right there, it still says a few yards till 15. So. Yards is going to be at the yellow there. Oh, that sign just passed it by the looks of it. Yeah, it's the thing just passed it. There we go. 13, that'll do. Put it into shunting to keep us moving. pretty good. I think this is pretty well designed. It's a really odd handbrake though, like they're pretty pretty weird. Uh, hopefully at the end of the scenario it will, sh it will tell you to put the handbrake on and I'll show you what I mean. It's just, it's just odd. A little bit odd. Slow it down. Come on, let me pull this out of the bag. Oh yeah, that's pretty good on the spot. Yeah, now we got a. I think this is the only. Is it? It's one of the only passing loops. I think. Uh, don't quote me on that because again, I've never been there. I'm not sure what this little bit is here. Is this part of the? See, I don't know where the um, Steam Heritage Railway is on the Isle of Wight. Uh, is it supposed to be like part of this bit, or is it back down where we've come from? Is it near here somewhere? Because I know it's, it's connected to the stations, but I, I'm just not sure what part is it. That bit there, where there's a spur going off? I honestly haven't got a clue. Not a clue. Don't know what to say now as I'm waiting. <laughs> Let's lock those doors. Let's uh, see, it is still red light. So you've got to wait for the red light now. Because it's the passing loop, so you've got to wait for the other train to come through. If you can hear clicking, I'm just checking some stuff on my PC while I'm doing this. Make sure the volume's actually turned off so I don't get any uh, notifications. I know a lot of people prefer to do it like the actual controllers where they use the controller interface um, on like the actual train sort of thing. Um, but I prefer just to use the buttons on my PS4 controller. Um, just makes things a little bit quicker. 
I don't know, I just prefer it a little bit more. I mean, unless I have like an actual like controller set up, so like an actual brake handle and acceleration and whatnot, um, then it would be a lot better. And I'd use that, obviously, but you can't really do that on PS4. On PC, I think you can. I think there's like units that you can buy, but that'd make it a bit more better, but who knows? Who knows? There we go, right, we can go up to... What's that, 45? 45. And I think once it gets to about 30, we'll put it into the not into the third, which is full series. Uh, bit like gearing, basically. And then we're at 40 or 38, 39, and 40. Come on, come on, keep going, keep going. We're on a 1.3 down gradient, so now we can take off the acceleration because we've hit the speed limit. We're just sort of cruising. Oh, we're actually going a little bit fast. Put that on, there we go. I mean, look at it in all its glory. Small two car unit. I think it's 38 stock, isn't it? Look at the window. Get a bit of a draft going in here. probably no good that it's going compared to some people. Half the time I don't even pay attention to what's going on. See, like, I'm only 700 yards away from a stopping point and I've only just started braking. <laughs> That's how much I pay attention to what's going on. And I hugely over or underestimate distances sometimes, so I'll, I'll usually brake, like, a lot earlier than I actually need to. Be here at what was it? Oh, 44. So, oh, we're actually a few minutes early. Sweet, or well, a minute and a bit. Minimum. So, you can see where it used to be a double line because there's two platforms here. Textbooks break right there. <laughs> oh yeah. Nice old signal is that yeah, I think signal box, isn't it? Is it a signal box? I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it is. Didn't they Yeah, I read something about this station at some point recently, saying about when they I think it might have been this station, it might have been a different one. But I think they're like gonna have one of these preserved in like um I don't sure I'm not sure if there's actually foliage here. But I think there's a bit empty there, like the bay, or at least on this side, they're going to have one of the old 38 stocks there as a sort of um, just to show off, or just show like what it used to be there, so people can still see the old stock. Don't quote me on that because I'm not 100% sure. Um, you know, sometimes you're just floating around on the internet and you find things like this that you read and watch and all this good stuff, but yeah. That would be pretty cool if it is true. We've actually got to wait to... Well, we've got 30 seconds to wait at the minute. Love the old... Um, like the green, dark green colouring on platforms. It's like GWR. I know it's not, but that's what it looks like. It might have been up there. Actually, no, I'm not sure on the history of the island line. Uh, better railways. Hmm, yes. Special railways. Mm. Yes. But yeah, the uh, decor is quite good. The IR, Island Railway. Let's take that break off. 
And... I know you shouldn't do that really, but... Oh well... Got a 0.3% uphill. Got to love the old clickety clack. 20. Might actually keep it in shunting because it's only pulling just over well. Just over 120 amps. So that might keep us. Actually, no, it's even. That's too much for a 0.3%. That's 3 the 40 marker. When does it change? There we go. Full series. We're actually in the first. Um, forward notch, there's actually a second one which I think is like a second gear sort of thing so it goes a little bit faster so once you get up to the high speeds on the full parallel I think if you go right down then slowly go back up but in the forward two it's a bit like gearing, again I could be completely wrong which I probably am that's what it looks like anyway at least Hopefully I don't run out of recording space before the uh, <laughs> before we get to the end of the line here. You gotta admit they look pretty cool. Just the fact that it's an NSE. Done an underground train. <laughs> it's just pretty, it's just so cool. I know it's because of the, isn't it the track bed height in the tunnel near uh, the pier? Um, I think it's uh, like really tall track beds stop the flooding. So only certain trains can go through it, that's why they use underground stock. Well, in, at least in the recent years, anyway. I could be completely wrong on that, but I know no, we haven't actually looked it up. Right, so we're actually going to go all the way down, put it into forward two, and then give it a moment, drop on the amp, so we're sticking at 95 and we'll hit it up, there we go. I'm going to be completely wrong, I could be buggering up the train for all I know if it was real, but... hey. Oh, I did not realise the speed I was going next. We're going downhill, so we're going to go back into forward one. Let's take the brake off. I love that you can open the door mid mid journey. Just yeah, just open the door. Not a big deal. I'm really hoping that the audio from the game and the mic isn't interfering too much with, it, with each other. So, like, the, I'm hoping that the pat the uh, game audio isn't overpowering the microphone audio. So, we've got 30 mile an hour in 350 yards. And we've actually got to stop earlier than that, which I was not. I didn't have, see. That's what I mean. I don't pay. I don't pay attention. I look at one thing, and I should be looking at the other thing. These little stations are pretty cool at night in this game. It's a pretty good little sort of ambience going on here.
bag bin. Oh, what the? Oh, what happened there? We go along here. We go along here. Oh, so this is where the steam railway is. Got ya. Got ya, got ya, got ya, got ya. Yeah, thought as much. So it's this little, this little offshoot. That'd be cool if they um, like do another um, sort of like add-on to this particular map set where it's the steam railway as well. Actually, why isn't there any steam trains or steam locos in this game in the first place? Like the TSW series, is it too difficult to put them in because of the uh, conrods and whatnot and like moving parts, like animating them? Because it'd be pretty cool to actually be able to play with steam locos in this game. I do hope everyone is keeping safe. I do hope you had a good Christmas and um, New Year's. Uh, I know it's uh, <laughs> the world's a bit of a mess at the minute, so you know, let's just hope that everything's all right. You know, I, did, I just hope that everyone that watches these is all right, and everyone, your families, and everything else is all right. Because, well, yeah, I just, I just want everyone to be okay. That's all. I want. It was my birthday on the 1st of January, so happy birthday to me, haha. <laughs> didn't do, well, I didn't really do anything, I stayed indoors all day. Because <laughs> I can't do anything and I'm not chancing it. I see we're back in a double section now. See, this is why I'm so late getting to the platforms, because I always break too early or too hard. Oh yeah, so this is where the depot is. Depot, 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 depot. How do you say it yourselves? Like, is it depot, depot? That's one of those things. Because of the way it's spelt. Doors unlocked. What's that, like, little... Oh, there's a card reader. Online. Please present card. Can't see in there. Yes, uh, yeah, so... Does anyone know why um, Shed Door 4, is it a Shed Door? Shed Door, I don't know, whatever you want to call it, but number 4 there doesn't have a line going in. What's that to do with? Cause, uh, what is there? There's one on that side, but why isn't there one going in here? Anyone know? Let me know in the comments if you've watched this far. If you have watched this far, um, please hit that like and subscribe if you are enjoying it. I don't know why you'd be enjoying it, because it's only me, but it actually lets me know that people enjoy it by seeing the likes, so I can um, do more of these videos, and that way I can please you guys. section that and then you got the pier head over here I 
currently 20 mile an hour along here. You see the tunnels are really tight. We're not doing that again. <laughs> Let's get back up to 20. Try and get there on time. We're going to go. Uh, back up to 2% incline. Woo. On the way out of that tunnel. Pulling 130 amps and we're staying at 90 mile an hour, and that's how steep that is. It's a shame that they have withdrawn these trains because they are history, like it's so so different. But you can understand why, because they're not that reliable. Um, when they are in service, apparently a lot of the time they break. Like you have a unit that will break down, and so instead of having two trains running up and down the line, you've only got the one train, which. Obviously, they're not very frequent to begin with, so it's like an hour wait if it's only one train at a time. So it's really inconvenient, so yeah. So you can understand why they've got the new uh, trains being built in, simply because it's more efficient, um, more, I'd, I'd assume there's more room, it's, it's uh, probably safer, more comfortable ride. Um, but at least they're still using underground stock. That's the thing. Although it's an updated version of the D stock, it's still the like the whole thing is still D stock. So you watch, I'll be saying D stock, and it'll be something completely different. Someone's going to correct me saying it's it's this, 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 and this, and you got it completely wrong. <laughs> and over the pier head we go. I didn't actually notice that, but the pier is actually on a very slight incline, according to this game anyway. 0.1% might just be a game glitch, but it may well just be in real life as well. It's in a very slight incline. Hmm. Very cool. Yeah, as we reach our final destination, though, if you have watched this style, thank you so, so much for watching. Um, if you have enjoyed it, please like and subscribe or comment. Just say what else you want to see. Um, I'll get a rough gauge of the interest that people have in this sort of thing. Maybe I'll do some more in the future. I'd really like to because I like playing these games and I like chatting. So it would be nice. But if you have watched this far, thank you so much. Uh, let's see what else this game has for us um, before we do end the video. And hello passengers. Oh. 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 There we go. So yeah. I don't think this platform actually gets used anymore. Um I think it's only the one side that gets used. Which is this side. Can't even go over that platform. Yeah, thank you ever so much for watching this, guys. Um, I really do appreciate it. I, I appreciate you watching any of my videos, even if it's just three, four of you or a hundred of you. I, I always appreciate every single one of you. Um, it's just something that I like doing, making videos. 
it is a bit strenuous every now and again and you do get a bit tired of doing it and sometimes it's hard to come up with things but I actually do enjoy doing it so thank you ever so much for actually sticking with me and watching this. And that's it so again thank you ever so much for watching um, tell me if you want to see more of the island line or some or any other lines and um, yeah <laughs> thank you ever so much for watching see you guys later thank you very much